On today's video, we make the drive up to Cape Ranga, the giant sand dunes, and 90 Mile Beach. Before we left town, we bought a few groceries for a picnic lunch. Chicken chips. <laughs> Due to the fact that there are limited accommodations around Cape Ringa, we decided to make it a day trip there and back and stay at our same Airbnb in Manganui. Treacherous, treacherous I think, path. I think going downhill is harder than going uphill. Well, Abby is wearing the proper hiking attire. Well, I'm slightly here. sunburned. <laughs> I'll put on different shoes later. Yeah. Okay, making sure Abby doesn't fall to the left here. Like me. <laughs> As you slipped. Like I almost fell. Because look what would happen. Yeah, that <laughs> a fairly long drop there. is the end of the road when traveling north by car in New Zealand. Here looking down at the sea, you can see two oceans colliding, the Tasman Sea and the Pacific Ocean. On clear days, you can see the two different colors of the seas as they meet. This is a sacred site as the native Maori consider this a spiritual place of leaping, where in death, their spirits begin their final journey. We are on the... Any idea what trail this is? I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> Taiwako Trail. <laughs> but he's, you're guessing. I'm guessing, I have no idea. We are not good tour guides. No. <laughs> We're gonna see how long, uh, how far we can make it on this trail. We may not make it down to the beach because that's pretty far. So I don't know how far we'll make it on this hike. It says it's going to be a 45 minute hike, but there's no shade and I'm in flip flops. It's <laughs> well prepared. We, well, it was a spontaneous hike. The tops of my feet are sunburnt 
and that's why I don't have tennis shoes on because the drive up here is like two hours and I thought I don't want to drive with tennis shoes on for two hours because that's gonna like hurt my feet that's why I'm in flip-flops although my tennis shoes are in the car so let's just hope I don't break a flip-flop and we'll see but the views from here are amazing and what's really nice is it feels like we're the only ones versus up there by the lighthouse was yeah, a little crowded, crowded which is i mean i understand we are adding to that crowdedness i'm not complaining i'm just saying in comparison this is pretty nice Just got back from that little hike and it feels like it's a hundred degrees out here <laughs> uh like oklahoma Ooh. heat Ooh. as abby backs off this curb um we're gonna go try to check out the sand dunes um i'm sure that's gonna be hot but we'll see how it goes we probably shouldn't have gone as far on that hike but it was still beautiful. We just weren't really prepared. I should have had tennis shoes on and we probably should have put a little bit more sunscreen on, but you know how you get when you're like, oh yeah, let's go do this. You're excited and you just <laughs> kind of think, oh, it's no problem. And then it doesn't, by the, it doesn't look that far, right? Yeah, and by the time you're done, you're like, uh, maybe we, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't idea. have done that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> To get to the giant sand dunes, you turn off the main road and drive about 10 minutes down a well-maintained dirt road. Just the giant sand dunes. Yeah. I wonder how hot it is on our feet. Oh, it's soft. It's not too bad. Yeah. Let's see. It it's may not get worse. Burning here. hot. Let's see. Look at oh. how oh, huge this is. Oh my gosh. Is. This is insane. I don't think. <gasps> this is. Look this at is that. Under look me. at that mound where, like, where you're facing. Oh I my don't, gosh. I don't think that the camera even does, does this it justice. justice. This is insane. Let me see if I can try to zoom in on it. There's people like climbing up. Oh my gosh. I would not want to climb up that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so crazy. Look at all of the sand. <laughs> Is it not hot? Um, it's warm, but it's like super spine, like huh. soft.
little higher and a little higher and I'm like, <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah. Like those people who made it all the way up there, I cannot imagine. That it's looks so, so difficult. So I think the easiest way to walk up it is look for spots where no one has stepped. Right. And it's like a little bit more compact. So you climbed over this ridge. Yeah. And you couldn't even see the ocean from no, there? No, no, not at all. It was just sand just dunes? More sand oh dunes. my gosh. And I thought, nope, this is as far as I'm going. <laughs> Look at this trooper. Yeah. or something like that <laughs> well we had a little detour uh, we were trying to go to 90 mile beach and our car GPS took us down some dirt road which were oh, which were we actually just oh. getting on another dirt road but that dirt road had a dead-end private property at the end of it after we followed it for like 15 minutes so we'll see this actually had signs to 90 mile yes. beach. This feels more promising. Here we are at 90 mile beach. <laughs> it is getting windy. It actually feels good though. It's nice and cool. Look at all those waves. Whoa. What do you think, baby? It's crazy. It's beautiful. 90 mile beach. This has got to be uh, a large one. 90 miles? Maybe 90 miles. What do you think? Jellyfish. Is that? It's I think. Be. I mean, what else? What would else? It be? Yeah. What else would it be? Touch it. See if no it's way, me. man. <laughs> I'm not doing that.
felt like we could have spent a full day here. We both felt like little kids running around in awe of our surroundings. It was a long, hot, exhaustingly wonderful day. We were so tired, hangry, and ready for showers by the time we made it back. But it was such a fun day that we won't soon forget. Keep an eye out for our next video as we travel back down south to Auckland.